Hi everyone, okay. welcome to Life Matters the Anade Jure. And today uh I'm excited because when I see people that are in, in media, my <laughs> my tentacles always fly it around goes, because yeah. it's always fun talking with someone that understands what you're saying. Like <laughs> funny enough, I was just sharing with my guests that um I was talking to a group of ladies yesterday as I was saying 1080p 4K, they were just like, What's that? <laughs> Is that a makeup? I have to say, if you style? want better quality, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, if you wow. want better quality, if you want this quality, and in my head, I'm like, ah, I know you. They don't get it. They don't. They don't get. It. Yeah, they don't get they it. Don't but get I'm, it. I'm excited for this, and I'm excited oh, that I'm good. going to be able to gain a lot from this. So, tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and uh, yes, let's start from there okay uh so uh, as you guys know uh my name is obira people call me obi obi kwacha um i actually live in hamilton and yeah i've been doing uh, media for a couple years now and i'll say by a couple years a standard of saying like going back almost a decade and you probably won't want to guess starting from where from church so a lot of of the history is from church and back then things weren't as you know as as vibrant as we have now like very tech it was just the basics like what we met in church so the church had a speaker they had some microphones some choir you know drums were never mic so that so that time that's kind of what where i started from now we're in the in the season of all the times of 4k going to 6k 8k you know uh so yeah i've been doing this for quite some time and then in 2017 i decided to launch uh my business it's called image studio so you can check us out image studio.com i'm sure she would put it on there <laughs> as well and a little bit of a back story on how this 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 whole thing uh and got going will be 2017 a friend of mine uh reached out to me she was doing her wedding and she wanted to uh do uh like a brochure for the wedding and she said hey i have i have all the files the text files can you help me just you know make it a little bit good so that i can print it and everybody will be happy but then i saw that as an opportunity because I was like, okay, can you send me a sample? When she did it, I was like, okay, this is like black and white. Like, why is it just printed on, on like a word file and, and be okay? So then, uh, she wanted something really nice. And then I just, you know what? I've been looking to, to get into like doing some serious work. I said, okay, you know what? Let's organize like a photo shoot. And, you know, she did that with, with, with her team. They got good pictures. I was very emphatic on like, I need high res pictures for the brochure. So she did that. And then it took me like maybe a day or two we put up a a, a a wedding event document. I was like, I was like, what? Eight pages or so. Very simple. Just had all the, the names of the bride, the parents, the songs they're going to sing, you know, and, and some nice stuff that you find in an event. And when I took it, so this is the real stuff. When I took it to go print for them, the, the, the guy at the printing press said, who designed this? I said, I, I did that. And he said, do you have a business? Do you have like, do you do this on a regular? I said, no, I was just doing it for a friend. I was like, no, 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 no. You go home today, go think of a name, think of something. I will print your business card for you for free. <laughs> wow. And I was like, okay. I actually had the business name for, for a while. So Image Studio has always been there for me. I said, okay, you know what? This is the launch. And ever since then, I think, and then I did the, uh, like a wedding chart. So if you go on my Instagram, imagery.com, you find one of the very light, um, like a sitting chart that was framed. It is one of my best so far. Yeah. So it pushed me a lot. And that that went on into things on going into like, uh, like visuals, website design, uh, you know, hardware stuff, software stuff, like going into like the real techie things which we are doing today. So i have come a long way but i want to say thank you to the university of youtube you guys are amazing to everybody that you know creates content out there and i like i do love to to watch stuff and just be part of a community that either that gets things going especially for 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 if you are in a setting like i spend most of my time at church um because i direct the av in my church there's always something new always something new. and for me if you know me i like to push it i like to push it every week let's do something different let's change the game and you know if you have a pastor that that, that backs you up 
you know with funds and everything then you would enjoy the ministry of being in tech and av so yeah that's a little bit about me yeah thank you <laughs> oh wow uh, something uh, just touched on and, and and i like that you said if you have leadership that support that dream and, and it's not yes. it's, it, a lot of talents and dreams are stayed in the church and it's mm -hmm. the truth but it takes a very good leader to know okay there's something special about this person yeah. let me give this person that extra push and uh those little things you know just like the, even the bible says that do not forsake uh the the little begin don't forsake yeah, the those, those little, little things that yeah. you're doing right um Absolutely. you might feel nobody's watching you and you might feel like nobody's supporting you mm -hmm. but all the support you need is inside of you and and that's one thing that i always encourage myself because don't let's lie there are days where we to be like you know what we are done yeah. <laughs> I, I trust I me. I, I get, I get to, to to those points every mm -hmm. now and then, and and to actually you know throw more light on when I say you know have a pastor, a team, a, a, a board that actually listens to you, you know, most of us feel okay like this is it is is the church's funds, right? So it should be available. But then think about it, right? You you want to, I, I always think it like this. I want to equate you know the investment to the outcome. Right. We want people to be engaged on our YouTube channels, our Facebook channels, on IG, on all the platforms that we do. But then what the outcome is that we want people to experience the gospel, you know, in the best way possible. So I always try to, to point out the value, like what we are getting for spending on a particular item. So if it's if it's as simple as a cable if you're going to spend what hundred dollars on a, a specific a cable is that going to improve the overall experience if it's not then you know you have to find a way to back that up with some information with 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 data so yeah to tell guys out there you know if you're having a pushback a lot from you know people in in, in your team always put the value first they, look at the big picture like what would it do for someone that walks into your venue for the first time would they see that wow effect or it's just one of those things that because you know church b or team b is using then i want to use it yeah that's it <laughs> thank you thank you um yeah. so I, I just wanted to for those that are watching i, I want them to see what your website looks like so oh, um, sure jump yeah, on in <laughs> come check out this this is amazing work uh that they do um graphics web design event production, production digital marketing i believe you can see this on my screen so please make sure that you go check this out yeah and you can see all the jobs they've done so it's not just by mouth or um <laughs> it's not just for sure and and you know it's very good see they do book covers um album covers uh yep. This is this is so beautiful. So guys, you don't want to be left out. Let your let your <laughs> logo be part of this one too. Right? Oh yeah. Let's yes. say your logo be part of this. this. This is very very nice. This is very very nice. So thank let, you, let's, let's go you. back to the conversation. Mm -hmm. So today, the church and media before now used to be two walls apart. Um, yep. I remember that when when I was younger, it was more or less like the likes of um, the Mondayan Faith Ministry that's still very, very relevant today. But th yep. that was like the biggest Nigerian Christian media platform we had for movies, for certain songs, and then songs were not due out yet. So you had to come and buy cassettes. Yep. <laughs> if we go back, we will itemize how media has evolved over the years. Yes. Um, and now at the snap of your finger, you have albums, you have messages, you have podcasts, you have everything. Podcasts. There's so many things at the top of our finger. Yeah. Now, if you look at the world, the world is is thinking like, what should we do next? How should mm -hmm. we do this? How can we get more people to this side of, of our, our kingdom? But mm. why is the church lagging? Mm. And I'm not saying all churches, so yes. don't get me not wrong. Not all churches. <laughs> but the majority that we are seeing today, the content that's still being fed on are not content that the church necessarily either collaborates or associates with. Mm -hmm. um, so you see 
I don't want to mention names, but you see different platforms that are so big. Like the one raining now is the Squid Game, right? And everybody's talking everybody's about it. Everybody's on it. And, I'm, and I've been thinking in my head that God, like you, I have the Holy Spirit in me. I know you go, you give gifts to all men, but how are, you, how are these people doing it? We are someone, and when I hear the story of the guy that wrote this thing, he mm-hmm. wrote, I think, 2009, and he got re- rejected for 10 years. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. Yeah. And he went back. Now, in my head, I'm thinking, so why can't we create content that is, how do I put it? That is so good. Mm. If I'll use that word, that is yeah. so good that is unresist, like no, is irresistible. Nobody can say no to it. Do you yep. understand? Yeah. So in my head, I'm thinking, why is the church not being very progressive? Or why, why are most churches not being progressive when it comes to media? What's been your experience so far? Mm, good one. Yeah, thanks for thanks for thanks for it. Why 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 you were we are speaking? So many things just flashed through my mind, and I, I would say for me as as someone that that has spent time, you know, in ministry, helping. I I usually tag myself as a support staff, right? So. I will not take the mic and preach. I will not do any of those things. I would always like to su- support a ministry from setting up just like a simple mic, you know, to going to like full stage and running concerts. So I worship at Restoration House um, and we've, we've been able to hold back to back concerts year in, year out, bringing the likes of Let's Start with, with, with Don Moran, Travis Green, um, we've, we brought people like uh, Todd Dunnelly, um yeah, Jonathan McReynolds, and this year as well, we're having Jonathan Nelson live on stage. So, seeing where we've come from, even from the small building where we are, I think it's, it's it has always been a matter of vision, right? So, if if a church uh, starts off you know, in a small house, so maybe just the pastor and the wife and maybe a few other persons. At that point, it's like they are trying to just grow a seed, right? Just trying to get something going. But then I've seen churches where from the get-go, from the first day that they got, and I've been part of them as well, from the first day, they go big. So it's a vision thing. If if the vision in-house doesn't automatically speak out that we are going big and by going big especially in the world where we are and today your four walls is not enough it's not enough no matter how big the venue is it is not enough so even the biggest churches in the world they are big on streaming they are big on making sure that the message goes out there and this is where the crux of the matter is the gospel cannot be shared to the ends of the world without technology unfortunately every part of 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 human life you know is 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 hinged on that right now is hinged on technology so if so if the the background team the people in the forefront are not you know taking advantage of the new technology and and, and the truth is not everybody can go that big at once and because it involves I'll, I'll put it like this it involves vision first then money vision first then money because i've seen places where i've been invited to to help to coach a team and there is fund so the money is not the issue but the vision it's it's not available it's not strong enough to drive a team so what the church is missing in some way is you know finding ways to always utilize the technology to drive the gospel because think about like back in the day right you would you would just need a pastor to you know be on the pulpit and speak and that's fine like nobody even cares about oh is there a light in the church why because sunday mornings for some reason all my life the sun is always hot so there's always that natural light that saves the day but then you come to a part of the world if you are in canada where it's winter on some days, some days at 12 o'clock is like midnight, right? So how do you deal with that? But then on the flip side, like for those that are in film, 
you know, for, for, for those that, 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 that are acting in TV, in broadcast, even in radio, even when you don't see their face, you just see some of the studios, the setup. Writing is huge. And I'm stressing on writing because I actually work at a company that does writing. And I see the detail that goes into some of the shows that we rev about. Examples like the Super Bowl. The amount of technology that powers the Super Bowl is enough to drive some churches for years to come. So I see no reason if we are if we are pushing the gospel, we are pushing the word, we are pushing faith, we are pushing all the things that, that we want people to hear because most of our churches, they teach sound doctrine. They teach the word, faith-based word, but it doesn't reach the people that is meant to be rich. Part of that is, you know, having a team that understands your what the the dynamics of social media, right? If you don't have the a team that is creative that understands, you know, SEOs and all those fun thing hashtags and everything, no matter how good a message is, it's never going to reach the audience. So there, there's there's always that point to say, okay, how much as a church are we going to be investing in technology? My answer is, how much do you want to reach? Who are the people do you want to reach? If you think you want to reach a million souls, you want to have your videos, your, your services, sermons, you know, be streamed a million times on a Sunday, then that's your answer. Get the technology to drive it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. I think that should even be like an hashtag. Yep. How many people do you want to reach? How much? Like, it's like, I want this thing that's so good. Mm-hmm. How how bad in the world? How bad do you, how want, bad it? Do you want it? And and that's the truth. Mm-hmm. I I think you've gone to that side where people always run from. I was having that like I like I said yesterday it was just an impromptu conversation. Yeah, with about twenty ladies live, um, and I was showing them different gear to use. They're all YouTubers. They're oh, they have okay. their channel and stuff like that. So we're just having those conversations, right? And I'm like, okay, you buy this, you get this, you get it. Like, ah, uh, can't we get something cheaper? And I and I said, I said, there's one thing. Before I met my husband, I'm the kind of person that I'll just buy something because on Amazon is cheap. I yes. I agree. Like, I let me even, let me confirm Thanks my. To, I was all proud. He also comes faster too. <laughs> Do you understand? But at some point, he had to sit me down to itemize all the things that I said I bought, and said, if you add the amount you could just have waited to get one quality thing yes absolutely and i see that a lot of people especially when it comes to us christians we like the free stuff that is cheap Mm. but our budget for so it's it's just like the church can afford to bring jonathan McReynolds, Mm -hmm. not put him on a blast yeah but when you now say but sir um the media team needs this 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 and this and let's manage what we have you know we don't have to and in my head i'm like but we could afford to bring him without saying let's negotiate like yes. we, just, we didn't even talk to him we spoke to his managers yeah. and the manager said oh to come and this and this honorarium is this price and yeah. you really want but yes. when it comes to media we always want to go the cheaper route oh. why is that <laughs> I, I i think like it's 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 so one it's it's a perceived culture so the culture of the church um plays a big role and 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 i keep emphasizing it. if the vision is not for growth in the digital age you know every team member you know from 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 the dex coordinator the studio manager however positions you have in your church as a volunteer paid staff you know paid intern that's that's doing something for church the message that you pass on you know to those above you would would not be seen from the same lens because a good number of us that are behind the decks we we see what is out there a little bit more than those that are able to make the decision right which is why i started with saying when it comes to funds it's always best to position the value first when the value is seen understood and it's 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 it's, it's something that is doable then automatically funds begin to flow. And just like you just you just mentioned, 
for me i i also experienced that where we could we could afford to to spend you know upwards of twenty thousand twenty five thousand us dollars in bringing people for a single day awesome it's great because what what did i know that it it does is it pulls the community especially if you know they have a good like fan base wherever you are it pulls that it pulls that crowd but then for a two-hour event three-hour event it's gone and then you're back to the same state you're back to using the same gear and it's like you you even go out out, even rent equipment for the day off and then after that it shipped back to wherever you got them from so i've always pushed i say look as much as we're going to spend xyz amount in bringing this high crowd puller i would say let's let's have a fraction of that to invest yes it will not be a one shot <laughs> in 2020 in 2021 i got two companies to come look at the lighting in my church and i could tell you the bill was over 100k for lighting now that 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 doesn't that doesn't have to do anything with the cameras it has nothing to do with the sound just the lighting but then as a product like would this even change what i need i said no as much as i want it i like it it will look good but on the down end on the big picture i don't think my congregation i don't think my my team is ready to handle this yet i think there are other important things that we can do so it's more of saying there is there there is a mark that we want to reach and and that's that's one of the things i tell my team and eh, anywhere go talk to the leadership every year have 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 a vision you know ask them okay we see the number of streams that you know viewership for our sunday services your midweek services maybe you climb up to a thousand two thousand naturally you want to take that you know maybe 100 percent increase 50 percent what can we do sometimes it's not even about the gear it's just about how you coordinate the service what are the contents of the service i do this some of the gear that that some churches have well speaking in 2020 one now i would say they're 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 pretty much above average like most churches now at the very least would have at least one good camera that can be used used and used well if some other things some other factors are included things are lighting a lot of people a lot of people do not pay attention to lighting yes you bought a 4k um camera the best of lens well if, if, if your stage is is dark you know there's no there's no front light there's no side field there's no key light there's no wash there's not it's like saying well, you're well, well, obi this comes back back to <laughs> the first statement you made which yeah. is vision. vision um you can you can even as a team member or as a church member or whatever it is you mm. can you can have all this vision in your mind and say oh my god we saw this we saw this you know how you go up about and say oh, okay how can we make like you said 200 viewers become 500 viewers to yeah. 700 view- viewers that is you as an individual if it's not the vision of the church of the church yes you will struggle as an individual the yes, church will is. drag you because they don't see the importance yes. and i think that's that's the crux of this conversation is the cheapness we are going for the no lights the low camera the we want it free that we are going for sure. the church really maximizing the fact that right now we can reach more people through media or we still think that media is just one of those departments in church in church now that you put it that way i think a lot of growing churches and i would i don't know how to to to, to say this but my apologies my my grading for 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 churches you know and it, it, it doesn't matter you could be 40 in your congregation and you're doing awesome you could be a thousand and nothing is really happening on your youtube or on your facebook too it doesn't really matter like your size what goes into it is you know the gospel that you preach like people and i think 
the lockdown that we had in 2020 for probably for the most part of the year and also a good part of 2021 and is still in fact in, in some parts of the world it, it did show us that, that the church is no longer bound by the four walls and people were having services still having services on zoom having said services on skype shot the number of virtual um softwares and platforms that shot up in the last one year is crazy it's amazing but all of that now that we're returning back to having in-person events again i sat down with my team and i said look if we come back to doing the same thing the same way in the manner we were doing it before the pandemic we will get worse than the result we were getting before it's just the way it is so it's 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 for me it's it's changing not just your gear but the mindset to say look someone somewhere six thousand miles away needs to connect to not just the the, the how, how clean the screen is but the worship the prayers the study the bible study the sermon that is going on and truth be told there 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 are churches there are ministries that are on the forefront of ensuring that whatever it takes to paint the picture of scripture in motion they will do it they will go all out i've seen churches that they use the opportunity of a pandemic they shut down their building they told their members we're going to go on zoom until further notice and they did a total overhaul maybe not to like the physical structure okay there's a church in brampton probably you will find that out they did a 360 i was there a couple months ago my goodness when i came back i said wow this is this is what i, I mean by vision meets money not money meeting vision there was a vision because you could see to the detail of the house lights everything was planned it was put in place and they might not have the best of the hands they might not have the best skill but because a a, a background a foundation no, an is, is laid, yeah. and yeah. intention yeah. to say look this is how we want people to view us both in person and online that change the the way things were done right and then not to mention names but i think a lot of churches with african and our background and roots you know need a little bit of how should i put it help in understanding how these things work there's 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 there's, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes in planning in ensuring that nothing is 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 just sprung up on the day of don't get me wrong i hear the word be spontaneous that's fine that's good but then if the structure is not there both the human resources and the equipment and the team and someone that has the vision to keep things together when things become spontaneous people see it as not being ready like you see a lot of flaws that happen in a service that is one of the reasons why having an order of service to me the day before is as important as the 4k camera that is shooting on the day because if i know that someone is going to take a mic from the left side of church i can tell my cameraman to be on that part of the church but then somebody comes from the middle and my cameraman is looking at the drummer there is that it, it creates a disconnect in worship i mean you're, you're covering your face because i'm shooting obi, some shots obi, obi can you can you off your mic off your mic off your mic <laughs> off your mic mm. hmm. so as and and i've learned some of this thing by actually experiencing the downside of things when a service is 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 about to start and we that are meant to drive the service beyond the four walls of the church we don't have a clue what's going to happen next it's like watching a netflix i mean i'm sure you've watched some shows on netflix and you're like 
they are every past second of the of the show is a cliffhanger. You don't know what's going to happen. That's good for a show because you're actually on your couch. But in a production setting, in a TV setting, in radio, you have to know what's coming. That is why planning the day before, I put this out there one day in one of our meetings. I say, look, whatever content I don't get by Saturday night, with all due respect, it would not air on Sunday. I was... Oh, you're, you're actually very cool. You're actually very cool. Um, <laughs> so, so I, I've been in that. I've been in that space, right? Where um, it would just be the day before or the mm-hmm. night before, or so I had to tell myself, okay, I know when do you want to start editing everything that goes out? Okay, yeah. this particular date. If your content is not out on the twentieth of June. Okay, so we're in October. Yeah, by the twentieth of October, your mm-hmm. content for November is not sent in. That entire month, your mm-hmm. content will not be put out. Oh wow! And people okay. see it as you are proud, you have power, you are thinking summer, but it's not that. Authority. I, yeah. I, it, I, I take God's work like someone is paying me, right? Yes. And and yes. I'm sorry, people, we look at it that way, but that's how I take it. So if I have to be in church early for something, if I'm not going to mm-hmm. be around, I consciously type it on my team screen and say, and even we have to do meetings and say, guys, um, we have to actually meet to have this conversation yeah. about, um, someone has to be, oh, we have to do this better. We have to speak. If you're, there's nothing bad in running late, but running late and not saying anything or not communicating when you're not yes. going to show up. You, you get that kind of thing. Yeah. So those little things where, you wouldn't send your boss a report a night before the deadline. You would have sent yeah. it in since. Yep. So why 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 do why are we now taking that? It's, it's God's work. Is uh, it's not that brother brother Obi brother Obi will be fine. Brother Obi is going to be <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brother Obi will be all right, but you're going to make things difficult. You're not. You're going to make brother Obi serve God with some pain in his heart pain tension and we don't want him to have any tension in his heart because we want him to serve god just like how if every sunday you are in the choir and every sunday there's feedback oh do you understand oh, if hurts. every sunday there's feedback <laughs> it's not about you at that moment is that another and, and, and remembering that because we are different parts of the body of christ mm-hmm. it's just like the tongue saying i don't want to taste today that's yep. how it is when we we act out out, out that of word, the team out, out right? of the body yeah so so for me when, when it comes to media and the church and you've said a lot of things that it's really really piercing to my heart because even now I'm, I'm thinking and i'm going back to even look at the work that even the team does and like are we actually giving our best are we actually mm. doing this well and those are questions you almost ask yourself every week every because week you don't yes. ask yourself you keep giving the same, the same thing and it'll be the same, the same mistake yes and i think that's why this conversation is very important where we're mm-hmm. like we're not saying the church should go spend hundred thousand dollars all at <laughs> once we're saying the church should have a vision for what vision. Vision should look like Thank you know there you. was a time that and um, somebody and me said we are the ones that are supposed to be di- directing the culture of the world and not yeah. vice versa absolutely so imagine if you're starting a church as a five years ago and you're not thinking of live stream when mm. COVID hits, you were just going to be starting live stream. Oh, yeah. But and, and if you were actually proactive, the yeah. proactive chat thinks in the next two years, we might actually need to be doing live stream because of the community we are trying to target. So yeah. you know what? Why can't we just start with one camcorder and start using it to record? Even if we just record and they'll play after the service. It's yeah. okay. Do, do you get my point? Yes, so we, we're, the, the essence of this conversation is to awaken the proactive church. Proactive church. Yes. That's the Wait, you're not, when, when media is not an time. afterthought in your equation, it's, yes. it's, not, an, it's not an afterthought. Yes. You're yes. building your new auditorium. <laughs> Dear church, I'm looking straight into my camera. Dear church, you're building your new auditorium. But what is important the most is your tiled um, altar. Ooh, don't let, do it. Let me, let me tell you, don't do it. <laughs> don't because do the it. moment sound bounces on that tile, you create echo in the uh, auditorium. Yeah. Don't do it. So don't just like it. how there's an architect that's important for the structure of the building, yeah. the sound and audio engineer is important for the inside of that structure. Church. And at this point, even more important for church beyond borders. 
there are there are people for sometimes i get texts i get emails from like the church admin saying a church in south africa a church in the uk is asking for a praise and worship session if we have this song that we've done the choir have done they need it and i'm like how so you see me i'm scrambling i'm going back on youtube i'm like oh my god oh my god choir what they what, what, which song is you sing this thing and then we, we were able to just share that with the show throughout the lockdown lots of people we are reaching out we, we are reaching out to people and saying look we want to do a pre-recording do you have something that we can use so not just for today for tomorrow for the future for 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 your for your members that that you will never see for members that you will never know where they live you never know who, how they look like you never know what is in their home what is in their heart but your message can get to them that's what i say the practice church i think i think i need to print that in front in front of my shirt i say i'm a proactive media director i need to put that there for sure <laughs> oh yeah so, so- you you touch on music and i i noticed that a lot of people love uh we love to watch a lot of these big churches not to mention names right no let's even mention names, <laughs> mention names. We, want, we want to elevation we want to copy maverick we want to copy yeah, elevation City, we are looking at the third third uh third Mike's so church. Yeah. We're, looking at, we're looking at travis green's church every sunday transformation leave yeah. church Thy tree so, bet. My question now is do we think looking over your in your experience, in mm. your experience, and not, not just a local church, do you think that when it comes to music, we are really ready to mm. bust out? And in the sense of I, I look at what you said, you said some churches reached out to your church and they were able to say, you know what, uh, we need you to help us. Uh, when it comes to our uh, media, when it comes to our music or your music or want yeah. to, so that means your praise and worship first. Let's let's start there. Let's start from there. <laughs> <laughs> your praise and worship is actually good. Well, <laughs> That's, no, wait, wait, Toby, don't, don't, don't do, don't do umbility for me. The praise and worship is good because I know your choir director, so it's I know good. he's a good person. So let's yep. start from here. So it means that the quality that is being given is what mm. they are seeing and they're like, you know what? Instead of our choir coming to church, we can use this choir stuff to do our own thing. Yes, yes. Do you think that a lot of choirs are actually thinking like that? Because when you watch some live stream, you will hear people talking in the middle of praises. Yeah. You will hear that the sound has gone from live stream to house so you like <laughs> you are hearing house the song inside yeah <laughs> it's provoking <laughs> oh my goodness so oh, yeah. how, how do you feel that people are approaching music when mm. it comes to now we're in 2021 the world has gone digital the yes. world has gone global now everybody and anyone can watch from wherever it is in whatever part of the world and they're doing well but today we are also seeing that a lot of people are having issues when it comes to they can't connect so let let me give an example there was a time one young lady i will not mention the name of the young lady (laughs) we go and watch (laughs) praise and worship of other churches yeah (laughs) then come and watch service of their own church nice <laughs> i'm not like why can't you just that's tell a buffet your, <laughs> why can't you just tell your choir that ah, this is what i i noticed so i enjoy this this and this from yeah. this choir and that choir um what can we do to be better yeah but the person in in truth said there's no how i can approach it because they are not approachable Able. okay mm-hmm. That's one part. Another part is they don't feel like they're equipped enough for what they are being asked for. Um, yeah. Another part is there is no um, efficient lead that can do that. And, and, I, and I've been hearing, like, and, and these are different people. Uh, yeah. just, just using that one person example. But these are different people in different parts of the world. And, and I'm like, what can we do that someone will leave their own... And the church is is 
big is wide we are different parts yeah. of the body of christ but how do we do it that even to the music like you said even to the the way the microphone is handled the way everything is to the t and yeah. the world will want to copy us how, when will, will we get to that place yeah so good news good news good news i believe we have not one not two not 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 a dozen we have people that are doing this in our time perfectly to our eyes it's perfect to what we see because we use what we see to rate them we use what we see what what we hear from them what we scroll on their pages to rate them there are people that are doing this perfectly so if in business or in school you you want to you know gain a certain um, um, amount of creed you want to be like this person you want to you know talk like this person in you know in a in a presentation or you want you want to match sales the same applies in ministry the same applies all the way to how do we plan sunday services there are there are there are, there are, there are people that have set they've set it as a standard like it's become you want to get it right go to this place that's that's at this point now that's just the way it is there are churches that have set precedents on how to get things done and to to bring it home talking about you know the music and i think music is is that is is that part of of service where i don't know about you but for me until today till tomorrow it's still that part of service that i consider a major aspect of my worship of my being in the house of god both in person and virtually so if there is a style of music if there is a format if there you know there is a a genre of music that i i gravitate towards and i'm not getting that from my home church believe it or not i'm going elsewhere it's going to be a buffet service (laughs) right i'm going to go elsewhere however as a as a member of a congregation it might be the difficult you know to to you know to to push your own agenda but if 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 if, if you if you worship in a congregation where they are forward thinkers believe me or not they are doing the best that they can however you know a nice conversation with someone and this is the way i say it there's always so, someone that's able to push your cause and i say this with understanding because in my own home church as well there are things that i want equipment change in proceedings change in in dealing with other departments by other department i mean functional department myself and security not so much of interrogation but my team and choir my team and ushers my team and those that handle stage we work hand in hand there are two three people in my in my in my house of worship that if i want to pass a message to the topmost of the top i talk to them they are able to relay the conversation they're able to put it forward and i get i get the the response that i want so you know and this goes still to a fact of having a vision yes not every church gathering of the saints are equipped but then that should be a prayer i tell you we pray this prayer in my department as a church as well because the difference of having a skilled music director now i'm i'm not saying someone that can sing i'm saying a skilled talented trained music director and not having one is is a game changer someone that, that understands what it means to worship in diverse tongues in diverse paces or temples of of music not just you know one style different genres there's reggae there's hip-hop there's rap there's classical as well someone that's able to merge that into what is all right what was the word the vibe of the church that's that's someone that the church should, should pray for and i think we've gotten to this point where some of these people are in and around us however they need support and this is where i'm going to some people might not like it but 
if you need help there are people out there that if you're able to come to an agreement and by agreement i'm saying having a financial commitment to their service to their gifting to their skill you will benefit more within a short time now i say this not because i get paid in, in my place i feel it's a little bit awkward for me but for other people that i work with sometimes i go out of my way there are things i can't do all the time so i'll give a good example there are concerts there are events that we have i legit invite friends i call them ministry friends i would have a budget set out to appreciate them for spending three hours even if it's before the event or on the day of the event why i can't be everywhere at the same time but then i need the best of the hands for that time so if 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 a church needs to you know put some people on a retainer you know on a contract especially your instrumentalist your band you know your singers as well like your lead singer a sound engineer a video a video director with church is to start thinking of this because i see a lot of the oh we just bought a new macbook so i expect the stream to 100 percent how but then you've not trained nobody to use a mac everybody on your team uses a windows pc nobody knows how to use a mac but you have be like, off your mind <laughs> off your mind oh. so yeah training has to be done to, to an extent where at least it's and the truth is it's never easy on the person that's the point man yes there's someone that is the go-to person in your church there's someone that is that person that can do all things but that person also has a limitation that person needs help as well i need help sure the concert that's coming up i can tell you the number of people and the fact that i open it up to my ministry friends they come with anticipation not because of the of the paycheck they come to they come to give excellence they come with that you know what because this 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 person has opened the door for me to serve my gifting my skill i'm coming with my bed because it's, it's beginning to be a name thing in ontario where we are in the gta i can tell you if you want to mention the the names of of people that play instruments i don't think there are so many but there are some names that once you mention them, people would know. So people are on this thing and they know. So if the church is to begin to look at, we want to get to the next step, we want to improve, we want to also improve the in-house skill. I tell you, it happens to people. I have members that come in for school. After four years of them serving and being trained, they move on in life. They can't stay there forever. I have people that were in high school. They've gone to school. I have people doing PhD. They've graduated. They've gone. You need more skilled people. You need people that you can work with. And it, it, it still goes back to that vision. If nobody is saying, guys, we need to get it up to this point, then everybody thinks what we are doing is great. I had, at, the, at the beginning of the lockdown, I thought I was on this point when it comes to my service and my in-person board my my streaming i'll hide my face but then oh. after after a year of punishing myself by saying you know what don't feel too proud to ask for help mm. don't feel too don't feel too proud to reach out to a friend say hey, look my stream i'm always having issues my sound is clipping something is going wrong my video is is cutting out is buffering i have all this equipment is there something wrong and i found out something if you're able to also help somebody you will see where it hurts you as well one of the days i was in a conversation with a friend and while i was giving a solution and i then dropped that change my live stream so yeah there's a lot that needs to go on in terms of I, planning vision I, I wish you could talk longer and probably um depending on how well we, we see tell us in the comment section if you want us to have a part two so that obi and i can probably <laughs> we we'll do a live um so yeah. I, I probably will we'll, probably after this chat we'll do a live session probably on instagram mm -hmm. and and talk about these things um as a part two um yeah. but before you go there was something that you said that i i wanted you to use as your as everybody's take home in the last yeah. three, past five minutes and you were talking about appreciating people mm. and i i see it's a very actually and, and i'm sorry i'm going to use african led churches yeah a lot of african led churches we we kind of do see finish 
<laughs> I've tried to understand that phrase thanks in, to my in wife. She's told me what it means. <laughs> we 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 kind of just look at people are like, oh, you are the one doing video in church, or you are the one doing. We we look at people like is the drama. <laughs> yeah, you get that kind of thing, and we don't appreciate them. So you see, people come out of their way, drive forty five minutes, fifteen mm, minutes, thirty mm. minutes to come there's no acknowledgement and and that's not what is going to make the person f- sleep well at night but oh yeah that little thing makes the person feel oh this church understand that i matter yeah right so i i what what would you say to that person that probably in their journey of life so you're going to address two people you yeah. address the church on that concept mm-hmm. and you're going to address the person that probably has been burnt out based on that particular concept of appreciation sure. not, like you said not necessarily money but ah, obi thank you very much you spent two hours on the phone helping me come to this solution god bless those those little things and, yeah. and these are people people just feel like they're just using me and when next they need me again they'll call me right they'll call me yeah so how do we work with these people um how do we help them in their in their um their journey in yeah, ministry yeah, their yeah. Ministry so journey. you're speaking to the church on that yeah. and you're speaking to the person that probably has been burnt by that yeah so i speaking to the church and 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 i'll speak from my experience um i i immigrated to canada in 2015 and the first church i visited was a branch of my home church and it's in brampton um so i came into canada the first weekend i took a bus i went to brampton you know i stayed with the pastor and of course they they heard i was coming from a from home from 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 nigeria and on the sunday i asked oh how does church happen here this is canada right so how does church happen here i said oh i have to wake up in the morning so this was a saturday we're having dinner i have to wake up in, in the morning and drive all the equipment from his house to the venue and then you know see what i can do set up hopefully one of the guys will show up and you know get it done and then after church as well we'll pack it up because we are renting a venue i'm like okay that's fine but i guess it's going to change i'm here now so show me where all the equipments are in the in the morning just tell the person to come pick me up you you take care of what is important so sunday morning i wake up dress from my bags from nigeria dress up i was looking good packed all the equipment it's at the point i was like taking off clothes went to the venue it was like a hotel i think so i set up and i was waiting for them to come to church so they all come people started coming to church and they they look stunned like what happened here everything was set and by everything what do i mean a microphone a projector a small speaker and a piano so don't think i did a massive stuff service started on time ended on time we went home on time i was going back in there and he said in, in 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 a couple of years he has not had to teach the way he taught the sunday before and now he will want not to take any good but that that part of somebody knowing what to do and taking it away from from he said look i would rather pay for your transportation to be coming from hamilton to brampton every sunday than do this for the for for any other time yeah it, it, it worked for a while but school was was crazy now this goes to say like the appreciation and seeing the value that it gives so to 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 people out there to churches out there if you have everything then i'm 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 clapping for you but if there's a a a, a, a section on, in your team in the ministry especially when it comes to the music ministry the multimedia av and you need somebody or there is somebody that is doing this thing you never know what you have until you lose it and 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 that is that is the truth appreciation comes and in my church is it, it's just what it is sometimes people say there's a scarcity of drummers it happens right so there are, there are two three people that we have on on speed dial that we can call and these guys are on a i 
on on some on some payroll so whenever they are available they are being paid because we don't have the skill why we do this is there's a level of music that we have come to be known for that we cannot afford to drop the ball because there's no drummer right and then you know all the way to even having a a, a sound engineer most of us we spend hours learning this skill so we spend hours watching videos going for seminars train ourselves buying buying plugins plugins to build the skill so that when we use it for the kingdom when we use it for 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 the furtherance of the gospel we are giving back excellence i personally would say you know know your team as as if you are a if you are a worship um, director, you're a, you're a tech you're a tech the director. Know your team. See, ask them. You know, is this something that you want to do? Because I've been approached a call both times, and my response has been, as long as it's my home church, I will take no single dime. But this is how I put it: once I step out of these four walls, then I'll send you a bill. And I think most people in my sphere. They've come to appreciate that, and and that that's that's just me. Now, for the for the skilled person, you know, so somebody want to quote to say that you know the the person that works is due of his wages. Now, it's all about understanding. If you want to be compensated, like you know, payment, I think if you join a house, that should be one of the first conversations you should have, just so that you you can know the bandwidth of you know or the range. Of what's going on because some people go in you know thinking oh the conversation will come up someday and it never did for the next two years if that's your thing let it be known from the get-go hey guys um i i would appreciate i want to be part of your worship team your 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 av team i appreciate this amount of 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 fee every week or once a month you know if you want to put me on payroll for the church that's it so that a conversation can be made that we might avoid like they say hashtag stories that touch so that when things begin to go south you know we know where to cut the losses because in in covid it was i mean so somehow we're saying in covid <laughs> church was was pastor a music director playing keys i mean for my church and one a one-man show av person three people doing church pastor Maybe somebody else taking opening prayer, closing prayer announcement. Someone play keys. We use track, and myself running, streaming, running sound all at the same time. That's fine if if that's the model that you guys have. But when you have a whole production to get done as a skilled person, if like I said, if that's what you think, you know, will give you the joy to serve. Say it from, from the get go because I've heard yeah. people say, "Oh, the conversation never uh, came up." Now so I'm it, hot. It will, nev- I'm it will never come it will up. It never. Because, because the one that needs it, yes. it will never come up. And, yes. and, I, and I think that's that's a good place to stop it so that mm. they can wait for part two. They can wait for part two. <laughs> we're going to be two. having a live session. And this live session, we'll be talking about all these things um, and much more. And we because we, we didn't, we probably will bring like a choir director so that we oh, yes. balance to this conversation. Yes, but I want to say a big thank you, Obi, for thank you uh, so coming much. on the show. I I know that we will be blessed, and mm-hmm. I pray that people, uh, churches, will get a lot from this. Um, on the next um, episode, I would I encourage you. Um, if you can give us a list of things that churches should watch out for uh, when it comes to live stream and and uh, sound and light and, okay. and much more. So I think that, sure. that will launch into our, our next conversation. But thank you for doing this. And I pray that, and like yes. said earlier, thanks for having me. me. Thanks for having oh, me. This was good. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. <laughs> so please make sure that you go, go on his Instagram, go on his Facebook. All the details will be on the screen and yep. um all the details will be in the description so you can also get to do business with him so till we see you on the next episode of this god bless you god be with you bye bye everyone <laughs>